Okay, my hair is curly. If you are new to my channel, um, you probably don't know that I have extremely naturally curly hair. This is nothing compared to like what my hair naturally looks like, but ever since, let's see, about a month after I had my first son who was like two and a half years old, I started putting a keratin treatment on my hair and I just really like it straight. So I've been putting a keratin treatment on it, but I need a treatment and yeah. So I'm rocking, attempting to rock the short Q-tip fro. There that is. So obviously I'm doing a tutorial today because I have like one eye not done and one I done. Um, so I'm going to be using a Too Faced chocolate bar. I got this um, like the day that it was released online at Sephora. Okay, so if you want to see how I got this look, um, then just keep watching. Okay, so I've already uh, put a base, the MAC Painterly Paint Pot, on my eyelid. And I wasn't thinking when I was getting dressed earlier. So I went ahead and I also applied the shade... Um, I hate these eyeshadow palettes that have these little inserts or blush palettes, whatever it is. It's the shade, I think it's called Milk Chocolate. Yeah, it's called Milk Chocolate. Um, it's, nope, that I lied. That's not the right one. Salted Caramel. This shade right here. I went ahead and I applied this. I just took a, um, Sigma Tapered Blending E35. I am absolutely obsessed with this brush. I've got three or four of the E40s, and they're great. I love them. But, like, I just got this for Christmas in the um, premium brush kit, and I cannot get enough of this brush. I don't know. I mean, let me see. So, where are all of my E40s? Well, here's one. Um... So here's the difference in the two. The E40 is just much better, bigger, which is, you know, I, I have a very large eye, like eye space, like eyelid, so it's okay, but I just feel like this one just blends because it's, it's a little more firm. Does that make sense? And it just, it blends like a dream. I highly recommend the Sigma E35. Oh, and I have a coupon um, code down below, so if you want to check that out, um and get 10% off your order. So yeah, I just took a little bit of salted caramel and I, sorry if I'm looking down, my mirror is down here. Um, I just put this all over the lid. Like, you could put it on your eyelid, you could put it in your crease, don't put it on your brow bone. But like, it's just everywhere. So now I'm going in with another one of my new favorites which is the Blending E25. This is absolutely perfect for applying color to the crease. And, um, like, you apply it, like, this way, and then blend it out by turning it. You see how it's more tapered um, and narrow? Anyway, love it. Milk Chocolate, that original shade. Right here. And I'm putting this directly into the crease. lid bringing it up now I'm turning it okay and now I'm just gonna go in with my finger with that amaretto color that I absolutely adore and I'm just gonna put this on my lid I'm going back in with that uh, blending E25 and I'm just gonna blend this up this is a smoky look so it's really really simple it's really hard to mess up you just want to make sure you don't have any harsh lines so you see how I'm just taking it and blending it up. Then I'm going back in with a little bit more on my finger. Just in case we lost some of that product. And then blend it. <clears throat> okay, now I'm going to go in with um, the Sigma Exact Blend E32. And this shade right here, which is like the ready uh, brownie. I'm putting, on, putting this on the outside, stamping it in the outside corner. And then I'm going to pull it into the crease like so. Sweep it into the crease. 
I'm going to go back a little more product. Like that. And then again with my finger in the amaretto color. Like that. And then what do you think's next? We're going to blend. Like this. Okay. So, yeah. Obviously, we're going to add a little more color. Um, I always go back in, like, after I add my mascara. This is just that E25, and I picked up a little bit more of that milk chocolate, and I'll put this in the crease. And now I'm going to go in with um, a large shader, E60. I said now again. Ah! Uh, and put this under the eyebrow. And then again with the tapered E25, a little bit of that salted caramel to blend out that line. Next, I'm going to take the Rimmel Scandal Eyes. This is the eyeshadow stick in 002 Bulletproof, maybe, beige. I, I can't tell. It's, like, worn off. And I'm just going to st stamp this in the inner corner. And I'm taking a MAC 228 in this really, really light champagne truffle. All right, y'all. And putting this in the inner corner. Okay, grab a flat definer. This is Sigma. Mac has one. It's an E15, and the shade Milk Chocolate. And line the bottom lash line. And then just take a pencil brush and that salted caramel and blend that out. That dark, whiny, burgundy color and put it just on the outer edge with the lower lash line. And then you can sweep it up into that outer corner on the eyelid and then blend it all the way in. And my wear line. And then I'm going to take this eyeliner and I'm just going to do a very thin line at the lash line. There's no precision whatsoever with that because I'm going to blend it out with um, a MAC 214. It's a really short, dense brush. I'm just going to pull my eye taunt just a little because I have wrinkly eyes. And then again, haha, <laughs> with amaretto. So I'm going to go ahead and apply my mascara and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and applied mascara. I used um, the Clinique like bottom lash line mascara um, on the bottom lashes. I'm currently obsessed with this. I don't think it's waterproof and it does not smudge or transfer onto my, um, like underneath my eye. And I also used a combination of the Chanel Le Volume de Chanel and the L'Oreal Telescopic in Carbon Black. So, that's what I did. If y'all want to see, like, an updated mascara routine, just let me know down below. Um, or, like, an updated foundation routine. I know that I hauled the Estee Lauder Double Wire Foundation. That is the foundation I have been using almost every single day since I bought it because I am that obsessed with it. Holy girl, it's pretty much replaced my Laura Mercier, but, um, the Silk Cream Foundation. But that's pretty much because, um, that one's a little too dark for me now. And I tried... Uh, to get another color, and that one just didn't, it, I didn't learn a lot of the consistency and the finish of the lighter shade as much. But anyway, that was off topic. I'm going to go back in with the Blending E25 in the Milk Chocolate, and apply that just a little bit to the crease. I always feel like once you put on your mascara, you can find little things that could be adjusted. Um, and then, the Tapered blending, E35, and the salted caramel. I'm still trying to figure out this like situ this work situation. I don't even know why because I don't know. I don't know. This mirror, I feel like it's. I feel, I just feel awkward. <laughs> Do I seem awkward? Anyway, um. So yeah, let's just blend this out. And then one final thing, 
and we're right out. I'm going to put a little bit more on this side. Boop, boop. And a little bit more. Oop, I hit the highlighter. A little more on this side. Like that. So this is the finished look. What do you guys think? It's really, really simple. Anyone can do this. This palette is absolutely gorgeous. It blends beautifully. There's no fallout. Um, there's so many different looks you can do with it. I'm going to show you again. Um, so if you have the money, go ahead and you want to spend it on another palette, then I would say, I, I recommend it. It's not, you know, like, life-changing, but I really do like it. There's, um, one, two, three, four, five matte shades. The rest are satin or, sh uh, glitter, shimmery. Um, it's a really pretty palette, and of course... It smells divine, like chocolate. Um, so yeah, thank you all for uh, the messages and the sweet comments. Um, wishing me a happy new year. I hope all of you had a wonderful new year. Um, and I just, I love you guys. Y'all have been just such, so inspiring for me and so encouraging and uplifting. And there are a few of you that just, I, and I think that you know who you are, that I just... Every time I get a comment from y'all, it's just I, well, my, I'm like staring at my phone or my computer and I'm smiling. People probably think I'm an idiot. But it's just like, y'all are the sweetest people. Um, and I just love y'all. So, anyway, I look forward to this year and I will see you very soon because I'm fixing to film like two more videos. So, yeah. Anyway, until next time. Bye, guys. Mwah.